next guest is my lead-in at WBLS. I come on each and every night right after this young man here. And uh, like I said, we call him Money Green. Lenny Green, which airs from 7 p.m. to 12 midnight. And then, uh, you know, the rest is uh, smooth sailing after that. All right? My man Lenny Green, give him a big round of applause, everybody, for the Quiet Storm 107.5 WBLS. I'm your opening act. <laughs> <laughs> Every you, night I'm your opening act. You are the act. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for inviting me today, man. Yeah, Appreciate man. that. You've been in this business for a while, so you know yes. what it's been like, and you know what it is now. There's been a lots of lots of changes in the record industry, lots yeah. of changes in our business, radio and TV. How was it back then compared to now? Well, you know, I, I don't go back as far as you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you listening it, to you as I was growing <laughs> up. But um, one thing I applaud your last guest that he had, you know, about reaching and reaching for the next level. Yeah. It's so important, even at our level, that we yeah. still strive to get to the next level. Yeah. Uh, I think it has made, it has made a tremendous... Yeah. And there was a time you went to college and you found a job. The brother who was on before me has the right ingredient. You yeah. go to college and you create your job. You create your job. Or you have a job and you learn how to strive for the next level. Yeah. And I think, you know, thus all of us in the business right now, uh, we're all blessed and fortunate to be working. Uh, yeah. But there are so many others like college students that are striving to get into our yeah. seats. And I know it's going to be very, very difficult for them as opposed to when we were coming in the game. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people worry about uh, getting jobs in radio with yeah. the syndication and automation and all that stuff taking place in our business. Well, you know, syndication was taking place when I was trying to get in. And I was wondering, well, how I'm going to get into the business. Yeah. Now, I'm a, now I have a syndicated show. And I'm sure the next generation is saying the same thing about me. And the only thing I could say to them is that, you know, it still takes a great deal of perseverance. Yeah. It takes a great deal of drive. And it takes a great deal of commitment. Yeah. And if you have those three elements, then and a lot of prayer, because <laughs> you have to have a lot of faith. And it doesn't have to be the guy on the mic. The guy behind the mic is one person, but yeah. the, there's a whole lot that makes that happen up there. And you know what, and I can't thank uh, my producer, Global Vito, enough. You know, I have a great team that works for me every night, just as you do here, um, because they put in all the little extra stuff that really turns the wheel yeah, and make yeah. it happen. I might be the voice, I might be the creative force, but there's a lot of people that help propel mm -hmm. and bring ideas to the table that really enhances the show. And that's why The Quiet Storm right now is the number yeah. one show. And before in, that, in you're doing Kissing After Dark, 98.7 yeah. Kiss yeah. FM. 16 uh, years. Yeah, 16 years. Yeah. And now The Quiet Storm. The Quiet Storm, man. man. You know, look, you I, are in a, in, in a line of in line with a lot of wonderful people who have come through that Quiet Storm. You know, I am very fortunate. Vaughn Harper. I'm very fortunate. Vaughn <coughs> Harper is my mentor. A lot of people don't know that. You know, I've listened to Vaughn Harper, and I, mm. it's no joke. But as when I was growing up, I was really listening to Vaughn Harper. Yeah. At that time, I wasn't interested in radio. I was interested in singing. Uh, but it wasn't until I got to college, mm. a community college. Yeah. That yeah, you did the on. world famous Apollo Theater and all of that. Tell us about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. With that sing. tough crowd, the toughest sing. crowd in the world. I came in second place. Uh, well, my group and I, we came in second place. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was a. Uh, exhilarating and frightful experience. It was very frightful because you, you, you know about the, uh, the crowd before oh, you even get out there. Oh, God, man. Yeah, You're waiting yeah. in the basement down there. So, oh, man, this is a tough With crowd. With tomatoes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was really rough. But you know what? There's yeah. something I really love. Yeah. Uh, ever since I was like nine years old. So it, I didn't think about radio. Radio? What was radio? Radio yeah. was something I listened to to listen to music. I didn't think I would actually be yeah. doing it and fall in love with it. So you got both ends of it. You got the, the people who make the, the music, yeah. you, you're part of uh, the vocal singing group, and the people who play the music. Yeah. So you're like Jeff Fox, you see both sides. Of it. Well, I'm not as talented as Jeff, but, but I become, in the radio game, I've become an entrepreneur. And yeah. that's why, you know, and again, piggybacking off of your previous guest, you know, we just can't sit idle in any right. industry anymore. I th I'm a beaver. Yeah. <laughs> and what I mean is that I work a lot. You know, I try to come up with events. Uh, mm -hmm. We got the Quiet Star Midnight Cruise coming up on uh, Friday, June 28th. Um, and I got the Family Day thing mm -hmm. coming up in August and on August 18th in Brooklyn. Yeah. So, you know, it, you just learn how to create more when you have the opportunity to do more. Yeah, and you just can't just do one thing, like you said. You, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> you better not do one thing. You got to learn how to do multiple things. I mean, as you are. I mean, you know, you're, you're a great role model for so many students yeah. that uh, look 
to the next level. Mm. A lot of people that look, their eyes are red because they stayed up with you all night. But I wasn't on last night, so you were on last night. But yeah, I, you know, like I appreciate because our audience, as uh -huh. you know, at WBLS ranges from literally 21 mm -hmm. to 90. And, yeah. and I know that's people might be looking at me and saying, you're crazy or that's not true. It really is. You know, yeah. I, last just last week, I spoke to a young lady who was 90 years old. And just as much as I speak to someone who's 21. So everyone filters into what we do. Yeah. And you have a lot of uh, a lot going on within your show. Well, That's we have, yeah, we, we, we bring uh, different content to, mm. to the station. Uh, one of the content is celebrity guests. Uh, like, for instance, tonight we have Robin Thicke. Mm -hmm. So it's always guests coming by just to kind of share different things with us and let us know what they're doing. Then we have different segments. We turn the segment over to the listeners where they get a chance to actually tell me what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. And we actually play what they want to hear. Right, right. And then uh, we have a relationship segment called Confessions of Love. Relationship. Segment. Confessions of Love is pretty interesting. <laughs> we cover all spectrums of uh, relationship questions, problems, uh -huh. and suggestions. So we True have confession guests. sessions. <laughs> Matter of fact, we're going to get Robin Thicke on this session. He doesn't even know this yet. Yeah, yeah. So we talk about things that, you know, unfortunately it's not discussed mm. in relationships. We kind of address the topics that uh, couples should be talking about, thinking about, and actually doing whatever they can to enhance their relationships. Yeah. But when did you know that you wanted to do this type of work, coming out of singing and everything? I didn't know. I, it, people were telling me when I went to college, you should go to the radio station. I was like, what for? Yeah. What for? And when I went to the radio station, I was so fascinated by what was going on, I was like blown away. And it was Kingsborough Community College. And uh, I just went right back the there. Water there. Oh, yeah. the water's great. It's right there on the beach. Yeah. Uh, I just went back there around three months ago. They have renovated the entire radio station. It's a state of the, it's like our station. Yeah, yeah. It's state of the art. So any student that is really interested in pursuing radio and whether you live in Brooklyn, the Bronx, mm -hmm. Queens, Jersey, Connecticut, I'm going to say strongly consider my yes. uh, alma mater. That's uh, Kingsborough Community College, beautiful facility yeah. for radio. Now you met tons of people, you know, <laughs> you met a lot of the stars that we see on TV, uh, people that we hear on the radio. And that other people say, wow, I wish I could meet them, or wow, he's right there close up, close right. and personal with them. Who was a, a person that you met that you can, you know, uh, say, you know, you can laugh about it and stuff like that? What, what stands out? The Jacksons. The Jacksons. And I'm so sorry that Michael... Recently? Recently. When they just came up. When they came, and they're coming back to town. Huh. When they came, these were my idols, you know, who I was trying to mimic especially Michael. Yeah. So when I had all the brothers right here, it's like I was like a kid in the cage. <laughs> I was like, these are the Jacksons. You're trying these, to keep your composure. Crazy. Composure. So I, you know what, I've met just about every Jackson, every Jackson, with the exception of Reby and uh, Michael. Yeah. So it, it's that, I would say that has the most uh, uh, impact out of a lot of guests and I've like you said I've been fortunate to talk to everyone from Jay-Z to Luther to Freddie Jackson and the list just goes on John yeah, Legend yeah. it just goes on and on and on and these are people who are just like us the regular people they just well, had a burning desire to become who they are today well you know what Ian Levan Zant just told me recently we as people we kind of put people up on certain pedestals but you're absolutely right at the end of the day they do the same things as you and I do they might have more exposable, uh, you know, disposable <laughs> income than we do, but they do the same things, and they're human right. beings, you know. So um, they're just mo much more popular, mm -hmm. you know, or much more, you know, known around the world. But they really are just regular people. Anything special we should tune in for tonight? Uh, yes, you should tune in for our special guest, Robin Thicke, is joining mm -hmm. us tonight. Uh, we'll we'll throw him in the relationship category tonight. I mean, he's married. He's been married to what to Paula Patton, mm -hmm. uh, and they, he's a he's a dad now. So we're going to talk about that, and I want to talk about why he left uh, the real uh, husbands of Hollywood. Oh yeah, the fake yeah, uh, yeah. reality show that <laughs> Kevin Hart started up. Because he, you know, he just ousted himself out of the uh, isn't that something out of the cast. So I want to get behind that dirt. Yeah, yeah. So all that's right. what we're going to do. Well, we're all going to tune in and check that out. I appreciate that, Bob. <laughs> well, man, and thank you, man. Much continued success. Oh, to and, you. and well, tell us one more thing. Um, you have your event coming up, the boat ride. What, what, what's the date on it's, that again? It's Friday, June 28th. Uh -huh. It's going to be co-hosted by the R&B crooner, Joe. Oh, and oh. If, if they like to get uh, tickets and information, they can log on to the spir uh, spiritofnewyork.com uh -huh. slash quietstorm. Spiritofnewyork.com. 
dot com slash quiet storm and get your tickets. It's a limited amount of tickets, but it's yeah. gonna be real sexy. And then you have the block party that you do every year. Yep, uh, mm -hmm. the family day. My ninth annual family day will be in Von King Park in Brooklyn on Sunday, August mm -hmm. 18th, absolutely free. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll have the good doctor. I come will. By. I will be there. They okay. just, you know, they. Things just pop up on well, my I know you're a popular man, man, man. You know, you and the president are the two most popular guys I know. <laughs> so. Where's that boxing glove? <laughs> I applaud you, Dr. Bob. I Bobby. applaud you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for We applaud me. you each and every night. When we go. <laughs> Lenny Green, give him a big round of applause, everybody. Dr. Bob Lee. Check him out tonight. He has Robin Thicke on. You want, what time is he coming on? Nine o'clock. Well, make sure you tune in seven o'clock. Get the whole yeah, get the thing. Essence. Right? Get the essence. Bring the candles. <laughs> Lenny with the quiet. <laughs> he has candles and everything up there. And he has a Lenny Green Money Green Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my radio brother right here. Uh, we'll